guys, it's Eleanor. It's now been over a year since the Star Stable team updated the Soul Riders. Some are very happy with the outcome, while others still miss the old Soul Riders. So today I thought I would have a look at how this update has changed their characters, for the better and the worse, and see what kind of character development they're left with as a result. I guess this is kind of a controversial topic, so I want to start off by saying that the update was necessary. I think we can all agree that the old models were extremely outdated, and it was about time for this update to arrive. The team did a great job on the models, they look fantastic and the new animations are a huge improvement compared to what we had before. What can be a topic for discussion though are the changes that the team didn't necessarily have to make. Their new personalities, characteristics and backstories. To make things easy I'm going to look into one soul rider at the time. And I feel like Linda is a good place to start. She's always been the bookish and smart one and back in the day that was just about all she was. With this update she has gotten much more of a personality which is very good and made her character come much more alive. The only problem is that she went from a researcher to a dreamy fangirl. While that might be more relatable for most people, I feel like they overdid it with her because it was such a huge leap from her previous interests. She could enjoy a good book, sure, and get caught up in her research, maybe even go on a few adventures and write some stories. But space knights and magical unicorns? I don't know about you, but that sounds like a long stretch to me. How can she be both a realist and a dreamer? The two are polar opposites. The team does try to balance these two sides of her and it's not impossible to pull off. But I can't help but feel like Linda is contradicting her own personality sometimes. This might just be me though and it's only a small part of who she is. Other than that, they did improve her backstory by explaining her origins and her family history. Her hair went from brown to black, although with her being from Pakistan, that is pretty fair. She's also rocking her new curves, I have to say. She definitely feels like the right person to represent a bigger but healthy body type. Moving on, we have Alex. She was always known as a tough tomboy who is not afraid to start a fight for what she believed in. And the thing is, that is still the Alex we have today. This update has done nothing but good to her character. She now has a stronger backstory that helps explain what we already knew about her and her family situation. There are only a few things that have changed about her, such as her showing more emotions now, which only makes her more relatable and realistic. It doesn't really contradict the old her either, because everyone has emotions and Alex might as well have just bottled it up. Her hair is also darker, but come to think of it, I can't imagine Alex ever dyeing her hair, so it actually makes more sense for her to have a more natural hair color. Her eyes have also changed color from a light brown to grey, which wasn't necessary, but I'd say it works. She's true to her old sense of fashion, still wearing the iconic beanie and tomboy clothing. And her being all fit and working out really suits her, because how else could she have become this strong and tough? She was already a sassy person from before, but her humor has expanded and she has become more goofy, making her an even more likable character than she already was. If she wasn't a fan favorite from before, she sure is now. And then we have Anne, and Anne is an interesting one. Because she's been trapped in Pandora up until recently, we still don't know all that much about the new her. But anyway, she started off as a snobby mean girl, but then when the other soul riders got to know her, they figured she wasn't actually that bad. After that, we have received bits and pieces of her story and personality, and everything is starting to come together. Now, she's finally coming out of her shell and showing us who she truly is. That snobby mean girl, she had a backstory all along. She just hid it from the world. She wanted her family to see her and be proud and to be perfect in the eyes of the world. Her expectations were super high and she had to live up to them and that is possibly one of the most relatable thing in the world to young girls. It's just not realistic to please everyone, but so many strive for it anyway. I think that Anne representing these young girls is both beautiful and important. So kudos to the team for giving us such a great backstory. One thing I do want to point out though is how she's described by the team. They give off this vibe that she is the kindest, truest, most misunderstood person, while the Anne we've seen so far in the game is more like her old self. They did say that she's not mean, but angry, but I really hope they keep her true to herself. People are different. We all have that one friend who is brutally honest when expressing their opinions, which is not always a bad thing, and Anne has always been that one friend. She's determined, powerful and self-assured. Nobody messes with Anne will listen. 
She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. For now though, we can only wait and see what they have in store for her. But I have to say that the team's description does concern me to some degree. I mean, you can't just snap your fingers and suddenly be a different person. Also, they did actually change her eye color from blue to green, but we can't really tell because Pandora turned them pink anyway, so I'm willing to see past that one. Last but not least, we have Lisa. She is the only character that has been in all of the Jorvik games, and for a long time it was very obvious that she was supposed to be the main character of the series. She used to be my favorite character as well, but with the new update I feel like they changed everything that made her Lisa. The old Lisa was really cool and relatable to me, and I especially liked the direction she was heading in Star Academy, because it made sense for her character. She used to be this punkish girl with spiky red hair who loved rock music and stood out in the crowd. She's nothing like that anymore and this change was very sudden. When the new models were released I genuinely didn't recognize her, cause she looks so different. I mean, for some reason they even took the time to change her eye and skin color. I thought they had replaced her with someone entirely new. When it comes to her backstory, it remains the same with her mom and everything, although her values and personality have had a major flip. She's far more of a country girl now and seems to have a long history of western writing. We can also see this through music where she's pretty much a country artist, even though she was in a rock band. That part doesn't really make sense to me. It's even in her bio and there are still posters hanging around of her and her band days. That's not a country girl. I feel like this would all work out much better if they had implemented more of her old personality into the new model. A lot of people who experience childhood trauma do express their pain through sharper fashion and heavier music. And I know there are many people who love and prefer the new Lisa, and that's okay, we all have different opinions and preferences, and I'm not trying to call you out on that. But this is still the same girl, it just doesn't look like it. And that's the big problem. For this to work out, she must have had a major tan, eye surgery, and something that made her personality flip. All while in Pandoria. Before wrapping up the video, I also want to mention the Guardian Horses. Just like with the Soul Riders, the models and animations for the Guardian Horses look great and this update was very much needed. There's not too much to say about the Guardian Horses, but the biggest change in my eyes are their main styles. I think it makes them look more like regular horses, which I personally dislike, but I can see how some people may like the realism of it. Starshine is probably the one who looks the most like his old self, as he's got the same colors and the only thing that really changed was his mane, which is honestly not too bad either. Tin Can has more textures now and his mane looks less messy than it did before, but he is otherwise similar. Meteor has some new features, such as the beard and the hair hooves, and his mane is far from what it used to be. And then there's Concord. He's a foal now, and a mare. The foal part kind of adds to the story, as it allows us to explore how soul riders and guardian horses are reborn. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty bummed that this Concord is not the Concord we know, and I would love to see Anne ride them into battle as the power duo that they are. But this has enough story relevance for me to accept it as a fact. What happened to him was tragic and nobody can undo that, but it's good to know that a guardian is never truly gone. When it comes to the mare part though, I'm just really confused as to why they decided to change Concord's gender. They can't add male characters because the soul riders are a sisterhood, but they can change the gender of one of the guardian horses who are a brotherhood? I always liked the idea that the soul riders were female and the guardian horses were male. They kind of completed each other and it made total sense. My only guess is that they have a plan for Concord in the future that requires for him to be female, but from what we know so far, I just find this very strange and unnecessary. Overall, these are the ratings I put up for the update, mainly based on character development. I did try to stay objective in this video, but it's really hard because just like everyone else, I have my preferences. Regardless, the new Soul Riders are here to stay and even though I will miss the old ones, the update was worth it and yes, for the most part, it was an improvement. This video was not an anime went as criticism towards the team, but rather a comparison between the old and new versions of these characters. So I hope that you find these ratings reasonable and if you disagree then please share your opinions in the comment section down below because I'm really curious to see what you guys think about the updated Soul Riders. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, I will see you around. Bye!